So, this mode is a little bit different from the previous two ones, and that's because there are no more sneak points. But there are hiding spots that the counter uses to hide from the player. And basically it works like... So, the counter has a certain chance to hide in a hiding spot nearest to the player. And this chance increases as the player collects orbs and etc. So, for, for example, when the player collects a certain amount of orbs, the lights go out and the counter's chance to hide drastically increases. So, yeah, this is where the game actually kind of starts, like opens up. And, yeah. and the chance also increases after the player survives a chase, for example, or even after the the appearance of like when, when the spider. Ma so yeah, it's pretty much just a game of hide and seek. But in fact, it is a little bit different from the original thing. So, when the player spots the monster using the raycast that's being shot out of the player's flashlight, the monster will start counting from, well, 5 to, well, 0, and then it will begin to seek for. When seeking, the monster will use hiding spots as waypoints to navigate and search for the player. And uh, I guess it's time to talk about the impatience levels. And these levels tell about how impatient the monster. The counter starts looking for the player with the impatience level 1, but as the time goes on, this impatience level increases, making its way onto 2, when the counter will start to whistle impatiently and will start using the half of all hiding spots as waypoints. <laughs> And after some time, the counter will switch to his final impatience level, the level 3, when we use all of the hiding spots as waypoints and will start angrily breathing. When the counter finally spots the player, it starts a chase, breaking all the walls on its way to the player. If the player survives for long enough in a chase, the counter resets to its hiding state and the player becomes it again, having two chases to survive before the fatal chase. And you are probably wondering, how does the counter spot the player? Well, the counter has a box cast that's being shot out of his eyes, and the box cast is basically a ray cast, but it's a box, you know. And this box cast turns bigger in size when the player has the flashlight on, making it easier for the counter to spot the player. And when the player runs, it just it just starts a fatal chase. Oh, and the two final things. So. If the player manages to find all the orbs without noticing the counter, when the player will have uh, his last orb left, <laughs> the counter will just start a final chase, saying, uh, like, just play with me, you bath seeker, or, or something. I don't really remember. Although, this chase can be survived, even though it's... And the final thing for this video. The counter has an opportunity to teleport to an orb nearest to the player. And this opportunity has its own chances that increase as the player collects orbs. And yep, when the player has only one orb left, this chance increases up to 100%. Meaning that the counter will spawn uh, 
you know, uh, will teleport to this exact orb. Yep. That's all it is. Thank you.